Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, kids. This is your nurse. We are solving IGCSC year 11, algebra 2 lesson, and the exercise is exercise 11, variation. These are word problems. Okay? I repeat, word problem. And whenever you are solving a word problem, most of the kids get stressed out. And the reason of they getting stressed out is because when they read the question, they are trying to find a solution. No. Okay? Understand one thing that your brain has got lot of things stored into your brain. Lot of things stored into your brain. Okay? First and foremost, whenever you read a question, try and see from which sector is this question coming and then afterwards get into what is there and what needs to be solved. All right. Let's click on this now. <clears throat> now here I know that these questions are coming from inverse because, you know, I'm making my video. But for you as a kid, you need to, when you will be giving an exam, you need to be very watchful in writing and reading first. The volume B of a given mass of air varies inversely as the pressure P. V varies inversely as the pressure P. It is a question from inverse. It is a question from algebra 2. It is a question from exercise 11. Okay? What is when? V is equal to 2 meter cube. P is equal to 500 newtons per meter square. These are the unit for pressure and this is the unit for volume. Now, find the volume, find the volume when the pressure is 400 newton meter square. I can write, I have written this equation like this. What can I do that? I can write this as V is equal to K into 1 upon P. I can write this as V is equal to K upon P. I can write this equation as K upon P is equal to V. So K is equal to V into P. I've got the equation, first part. This is the most important part that I've got. With the help of this, I can solve the value. What is given now? K is equal to volume is 2. Pressure is 500, so K is equal to 1000. So let me write here. K is equal to 1000. And what is my equation? My equation is V is equal to K upon P. Okay? Now well, let me just erase this off. Erase this part off. All right. Now the question. What is the question coming to me? Find V for P equal to 400. So I know that V is equal to K upon P. I know what is K, that is 1000. I know what is P, that is 400, 0, 0, cut. So this is 10 upon 4, which can further be factorized. And this will give me an answer of either 5 upon 2 or you can go further and write 2.5. 2.5 cubic meter. Hope you have understood it, how to solve it. Huh? Let's look at the next question. These are easy questions. Okay. So there should not be any chance that you should make a mistake. The number of R requires to dig a certain hole is inversely proportional to the number of men available. Number of R is inversely proportional to the number of R. Okay. Now, when six men digs, that means when six men dig, X is six, na, men. Okay. When six men are digging, the hole takes four R. So, the time is four R's. And this are men. Find the time taken when eight men are available. 
find the time. So if there are eight men, find the time. This is the first question. And second question is, if it takes half hour to dig the hole, how many men are there? Okay. So the second question, I don't know how many men are there. This is unknown. If it is half hour. See, two questions are being asked in this question. Got it? So that is the reason why it is very important that whatever you do, write your GAF. GAF is given, asked, and formula. If you approach mathematics questions in a GAF format, there is very less chance that you know you will not be able to solve a question. Now, do I need to solve this further? I think you can do it. N is equal to k upon x. So, k upon x is equal to n. So, k is equal to n into x. I can find the value of this. And then I can find both these values. Okay. Hope you have understood it. Do let me know. Give me your remarks on my comment box you know, to know are you able to understand, are you able to solve the questions. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.